I'm definitely not the naturalist, most natural person on earth. Hey, love us, it's your girl, Disastrous Beauty, coming back with the voiceover. So this unit was sent to me by Wig Encounters. Shout out to you, Wig Encounters, for sending me this unit right here. I am showing you guys the cap construction. This unit does come with three combs in the front, one comb in the back with adjustable straps, and it also does come with an elastic band that you can use to possibly wear it as a glueless wig. Um, as you guys can see, this is a braided unit, so I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys watch me style it. And if you are interested in any more details, inspects, and all that good stuff about this unit, then please continue to watch, and I will see you in the box and the outro. Bye! <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I am obviously finished styling this wig, and this is what I got. If you are interested in the details, the specs, and all that good stuff about this unit, then please continue to watch. Okay, y'all, so the unit that I am wearing today was sent to me by Wig Encounters. Shout out to you, Wig Encounters, for sending me this unit. I really do appreciate it. Now, the details and specs that I have on this unit, it says um, hair code BBW004. The, the color is natural black. The length is 24 inches. It says four inch parting space, lace front glueless cap um, wig, bleach knots on the front lace, cap size average, lace color light brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the direct link and let me go on the site and see what details and specs and stuff they have on the site. So on the site, it says lace front wig, long box braid wig. And it looks like this unit does come in 20 inches, 22 inches, and 24 inches. And if I'm not mistaken, I did say I am wearing 24 inches, although I thought I said 26. Child, I don't know. Whatever I said I had, <laughs> that's what I got. Um, it don't really have a lot of specs and details on the site. And there's literally only one picture of this unit on the site and we're gonna get into how i feel about the picture versus the unit in a little bit but okay so far as far as just details and specs now if i'm not mistaken this unit does come with two combs in the front one comb in the back with adjustable straps and i think it does also have an elastic band i actually styled this wig and put it on my head a little while ago so and honey my memory is like that of a flea girl like it's fleeting okay <laughs> it is definitely fleeting now um as far as the hairline and all of that with this wig, like this is pretty much it. Like I hope it's focusing. And I hope you can see underneath this little braid I have right here. And I did this style because when I used to wear Senegalese and box braids all the time, this is basically my go-to style. So I was like, that is normally how I would wear my hair. So that was the style that I wanted to do. Obviously you can style it however you want it to be styled. But yeah, that is that was just the look that I am used to doing. Um, although I am not used to these types of ends, but we'll get into that later as well. But I'm gonna let you guys just look at the ends on this unit. This is what it looks like. 
And this is supposed to be like a knotless type of style. So keep that in mind as well. Um, it did come with baby hairs and I did cut them. I tweezed them a little bit and uh, just kind of swooped them over. Like it took me a little bit of time. I ain't gonna lie. Your girl was kind of struggling with these baby hairs. But yeah, it took a little time and this is the style that I got. Now, do I feel like this unit is a big head friendly? I do feel like it is definitely geared more to big head friendly than not. So keep that in mind. I am like, I do consider myself these days more on the small head, uh, uh, small head side of the spectrum. Uh, so I made it work. So I feel like even if you do have a small head, you can still make this unit work. And yeah, that is pretty much that. Now I do want to mention, I'm gonna do a full 360 for you guys uh, later on in this video, that this is not a full lace wig. Like literally this part right here that you see, that is, that is basically all that is lace. And in the back, you don't see tracks. I don't know what you would call it, but I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna let you guys get a full 360 so you can really see what this unit is given. So yeah, that's pretty much it as far as details and specs goes with this unit. Girl, I forgot to give you a lint check. Let me give you a quick lint check, okay? <laughs> so literally, this is all of the hair brought to the front other than the part that I have like twisted up. So this is it right here. And this is where it comes to me. Keep in mind, I am 5'4", and I'm just gonna see, let you guys see where it comes to me in the back. <clears throat> And this is where it comes to me in the back. I hope you guys can see it. Okay, so now if you are interested in how I feel about this unit, what I did to this unit, then please continue. Okay, so let me tell you guys how I feel about this unit. I'm gonna keep it a whole book with you, girl, okay? When I first took this unit out, I, I can honestly say I definitely wasn't feeling it. it. It wasn't really what I expected. I am used to a certain type of hair, and I think it's the hair. I think it's the hair, but I don't know. I'm used to a certain type of look when it comes to my box braids. Although I have seen these types of uh, this type of hair, and I don't know if it's like because I'm used to that kink along, honey. I don't know. I don't know what it is, um, but I'm just used to a certain type of hair with my box braids. Now, granted, I have seen this type of hair, and it seems to be when I see this type of hair, this type of look, it seems to be with more, um, people with more money. <laughs> I, I don't know, but usually this is the type of hair that I feel like I see, um, whenever they have box braids. And usually those types of, um, box braids are a lot more expensive than what I am used to. So it may just be me, honey. It just may be a poor girl's perspective. So that initially threw me off. Now I say that, but once I put on the wig, once I put on the wig and went to styling it and adding my shadow and all of that, I, I, your girl is kind of feeling it. Like I'm kind of feeling it, honey. Like, I don't know. It, it did give, now I, I wish it was a lot more full. Like I do prefer for my box breaks to be way more full than this. Like this is like, giving me definitely more of a natural feel and honey your girl is what do I say at the beginning of my channel <laughs> I'm not the most natural girl in the world okay now there are certain units where I do prefer a natural look and you know when I'm looking when I'm going for natural I like for it to look natural but uh with my box breaks I definitely prefer a more you know just a fuller look but that being said, I, I still, I'm still feeling it. I think it is a cute look. Like, um, I would definitely wear it, honey. I'm gonna be wearing it today and I'm gonna be wearing it probably for the next couple of days because we got a lot of stuff going on in this house, honey. So we gotta leave and I won't be here. And yeah, so I probably will be wearing her a lot and she's really, really convenient. So that being said, I like it. I'm gonna be wearing her. Um, I ain't mad at her. Like, like I said, once I added my powders and you know styled it the way that I wanted her to be styled, I definitely liked it a lot more. I'm gonna go ahead and take this down so you guys can get a good look in here. Like, I like that look of it in in these parts. Like, like I said, once I added my powder, I was definitely feeling that a lot more. Um. I do feel like 
you can do a lot with it but i feel like you could do a lot more if it had like that same that same lace that is up here all over the wig so yeah i do feel like that i don't love the ends whatsoever like the ends are not for your girl uh i feel like they look a little jagged and i'm not somebody that really knows how to make that look better like like honey i'm nobody's beautician so yeah i'm gonna be wearing her as is and if you don't know how to fix that and if you do know how to fix it uh tell me down below tell your girl i don't know but yeah i don't i'm not i'm not a beautician so i don't necessarily know how to fix it and if you're not a beautician honey and you don't know how to fix it, you may be like uh uh girl mm -mm, she ain't doing it okay so yeah i'm feeling it though overall i like the wig i think it is a cute unit i'm not mad at the lace color that is all that has been an issue for me before lace color i'm not mad at this lace color whatsoever i did apply uh my liquid foundation underneath it and then i applied my sephora micro smooth on top of that liquid foundation foundation underneath it and then I applied my Sephora micro smooth on top of it and um, with my baby hairs I just use my edge control and yeah y'all that is pretty much it like I feel like it's an easy slay I think it is super cute I think it is really really convenient you know your girl always looking for something lazy girl friendly I didn't have to sit in the chair to get them so yeah I'm feeling it I think it is a look let me know what you think down below also like I said the other con for me is the back I wish that they had this all the way through it but honey whatever okay <laughs> whatever so yeah i think it's a look let me know down below what you think let me know if you own one of these um units and if you're feeling it let me know down below in the comments and yeah y'all that is pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a full 360 and we can wrap this thing all the way so this is obviously the unit in the front this is it on the left side This is it in the back. And I want you guys to see this. I hope y'all can see it. And this is it on the right side. So let me know down below what you guys think. Are you feeling it? Do you think she's a look? Let me know down below. And yeah, y'all, that is pretty much it. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or you feel like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, sis, click the subscribe button. And if you're not ready to follow me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and Facebook. I'm here to Miss C on Snapchat and I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you love bugs next time. Bye.